Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Today on Summer Under the Stars, we've been saluting the career of Joseph Cotton, and it would be impossible to do any meaningful tribute to Cotton without showing our next movie, a picture that started his career in Hollywood and helped make him the actor we remember today. From 1941, produced, directed, and starring Cotton's longtime friend Orson Welles, it's Citizen Kane. Today, Citizen Kane is one of the most talked about, dissected, and influential films of all time. Wells made the movie for RKO, the first in a two-picture deal he signed with the studio in 1939. Critically, that deal gave Wells unprecedented creative control, difficult to get even when you're someone like James Cameron, stunning when you're Orson Welles in 1939, you're just 24 years old, and you've never made a single feature film before. But Wells had that kind of clout. He'd already made a stunning and profound impact on the theater scene in New York, and his War of the Worlds radio broadcast in 1938 made him famous far beyond the confines of the Manhattan theater crowd. Once he signed with RKO and armed with a screenplay written by my grandfather, Herman Mankiewicz, Wells used that clout to bring many of his theater colleagues from New York to Hollywood to star in Citizen Kane. One of those friends, Joseph Cotton, had at that point only acted in one short film, also directed by Wells. But Wells believed in Cotton and gave him second billing, casting him as Jedediah Leland, the film's constant voice of mostly objective reason. From 1941, with a cast that also includes Agnes Moorhead, Everett Sloan, Dorothy Gore, Ruth Warwick, and many others, shot by Greg Tolan, edited by Robert Wise, here's Citizen Kane. 